So, what are we going to get into today? Well, with, with Moonshine Wednesday, um, I've been getting a lot of questions on shelf stable. You, know, you make a, a, a moonshine drink, uh, and it can vary anywhere from, well, let's say 80 uh, proof or 40% alcohol, and sometimes it can get down into the into the teens. You know, it depends on what you're making, how you're making them. So, I was getting a lot of questions on shelf stable. You know, do I have to refrigerate it? Uh, do we make? Does the sugar inside the uh, moonshine does that affect it? Is it a uh, like a cream or a milk based? You know, like a sipping cream. Does it have to be refrigerated? How long can it last? Well, that's a lot of good questions and. I'm, I looked around and I really couldn't find any good answers. The answers were all over the place. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start a kind of a, a experiment and check this out. It's, it's going to take a while to do this, but this is step number one. We're going to get set up. All right, but first things first, welcome to Still Works and Brewing. My name is Randy, and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. How are we going to do this? All right. Well, like I said before, uh, I tried to find some answers, and, and, and they were all over the place. Some said that you couldn't store something on the shelf. It had to be at least uh, 30 percent alcohol to be to be stable some said that only two percent it was all over the place so what i'm going to do i what i want to find out is at what abv is something i make shelf stable and what i mean by that is to put it on the shelf and not in the refrigerator just on the shelf in the dark and how long will it be before it goes bad. Uh, I mean, hey, we already know at 40%, which is like your bourbons and stuff, and some of you have sugar and stuff in it, it never goes bad. But, here, there, there. All right, so how am I gonna do this? All right, what I wanna do is, I picked out two things that are kinda, that I would think that would spoil easily. I'm not a scientist, so this is just uh, me doing it. So what I did is I made up a apple pie mixture. It don't have the spices in it, but it's you know it's apple juice, apple cider, and sugar, right? All the things that uh, would possibly go bad if you let it. All right. The other one is like a milk or cream based mixture, so it's like say a sipping cream or something like that, uh, that will be their other other half, all right? Then each one of these samples, like say the apple pie, I will take the apple pie, I will have it at 0% alcohol, which is more or less our control, and then I'm gonna go 5%, 10%, 20%, 30%, and 40% alcohol in a small sample. We're gonna put them on the shelf and uh, we're going to see what they come up, you know, what, how they manage. Um, so what I'll do is after I do this, I'll write it all down, the dates and all that, and probably once a month, I'll just come back, give them a visual, uh, you know, for green stuff growing on, or, or I, I'm not going to be tasting it. I'm more or less seeing, you know, uh, I might open them up, but not in the beginning, just to smell. Maybe a taste, now nah, we'll see. We'll see on that part, all right? So I will be making two cup ta or samples for each one. And the next thing is, how did I figure out the ABV to do? Well, I did find online an app um, and what it is is I put in there for a two cup sample how much alcohol now i couldn't base i can't check this on i wouldn't be able to take a hydrometer of any sort to check what abv it is so what this app did is i put in there okay i'm using 100 percent or now 
100 proof or 50% alcohol mixed with water will give me this percent. So I put the this as the water part. It, it ain't 100% scientific, but it ought to give us, a, it ought to be pretty close. And what I did do is I did check these numbers with water and then they're right on. They're right on. Okay. So this is where it's going to take a little time. Uh, let me put that over there. Uh, and like I said before, why did I use these two uh, mixtures or whatever? And I thought they had the most uh, chance of going bad. One, because the apple juice when in the cider actually, uh, they are, now granted, the apple cider that you buy and the apple juice you buy, it has been pasteurized, but that's what we normally would make apple pie with. So, um, uh, but I figured with the apple in it and the sugar in it, it poses a risk of going bad. And the same thing with the milk. Of course, it's been pasteurized, the cream and the milk, it's been pasteurized and the sugar. So I would assume it would have a high chance of going bad first, which, hey, we know, well, we don't know, but I'm assuming that the milk, but we'll at least get a, a, a baseline, okay? All right, so what's next? All right, like I said, we'll check back once a month, give a maybe a, just a little quick video of a, hey, hey, there, here's the situation, this is how it's doing, just to let you guys know. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to take. Is it going to take two months, or is it going to take, uh, you know, a while? We'll see, we'll see. I just thought it might be interesting, something something to us to check out. All right, so uh, let's get started. Uh, basically, what we got to do is we got to make up our our uh, sample bottles, and I put on the lids here uh, the apple cider, apple pie is one through six, and the uh, milk one's going to be A through. F, not that you can mix them up, <laughs> they're totally looking different. Um, so we'll go with that first, okay? All right, so first one we're gonna do, and we'll do the apple cider, all right? And that is, it is the first one's gonna be, and here's how that, that the uh, thing worked out. Okay. okay, so let's get our first sample done. And what we're doing, we're doing due to 40%. Uh, so what we need is 376 milliliters of alcohol. Three, 176. So I need 200. 90, 200 right there. It's hard to read this. All right, so that gives us our alcohol. This is for a 40% batch. And now we need 94 of the apple cider. 94, right there. It's gonna take a while. All right, so we'll add that to this. Okay. 
Okay. So that's going to be our 40% That's our 40%. Would you call it shine? All right. Hey, I know this ain't gonna go bad. This, gonna, this would sit on the shelf, but it's, it's part, part of the experiment. Okay, so let me get these done and then we'll come back and we'll talk about them for a while, okay? All righty, this is gonna take a little while and it's gonna take a little bit of shine. Um, I just thought it was a well worth experiment. I think it's going to be a, a good experiment to do. All right, so we'll, we'll be back in a little while. Okay, that was kind of tedious, but that's all right. Uh, I love doing experiments. You know, it, it helps us learn. I hope it, it will help everybody you know, learn a little bit in this uh, hobby. We do this kind of stuff. Okay, so if you, if you look here, this one... Well, let's start with the other end. This is our control. It's zero percent alcohol in that. Okay, five, 10, 20, 30, and 40 percent alcohol. All right, so you can really see the color difference. So we'll put them in, uh, we'll put them in our box here. That's our first six. All right. So now here is our cream or dairy based uh, shine. And like I said, that is a lot of your, uh, if you're making sipping creams, you use a lot of cream. Uh, so anyway, that is this one. It's zero, which is gonna be our control. Five, 10, 20, 30, and 40%. I'd be willing to bet. <laughs> Anybody want to take a bet? This would be the best one, the best, first one to go bad. And I probably won't even open it. Ugh. So we'll put that in our box. Spill a little bit. All right. Fine. Okay. And like I said, what I'll do is I'll just put these in my fermentation room. The temperature in there stays, uh, you know, right around once or uh, uh, 76 to 78 degrees. Um, and what I'll do is I'll report back for now, let's say once a month for a little while or if something really interesting happens. There's another channel that says that anyway. So I'm hoping this will uh, give us a little insight on shelf stable. Alrighty. So just make sure you come by. What I'll do is I'll put all the uh, I'll make a playlist, and then we'll. So if you want to review them as the updates come out, man, maybe interesting. You know, I hope so. Anyway. All right. So make sure you come back and we're going to see what happens. Uh, it's going to take a little while. All right. So I guess the last thing I got to say is, hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time here on Still Works in Brewing. Cheers, everybody. That looks neat, though. Okay.